This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Portland. According to research in the Journal of the American Medical Association, black patients have a higher prevalence of colon polyps than white patients. In a study of over 85,000 people, researchers found that black men had a 16% increased risk for polyps larger than 9 millimeters compared to white patients, while black women had a 62% increased risk. These findings emphasize the importance of colonoscopy screening, particularly among black men and women. From Michigan, researchers have validated criteria for identifying patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest who have little or no chance of survival after resuscitation. The criteria are relevant to responders providing basic life support or advanced life support and include rules regarding whether or not the cardiac arrest was witnessed and whether CPR was performed before EMS personnel arrived. The purpose of this study was to identify criteria to justify rapid transport to hospital, a practice which can pose hazards to EMS personnel and the public. And finally, from Pennsylvania, according to research in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, gene therapy may benefit those with an inherited form of blindness called Labor's congenital amaurosis. Researchers injected genes directly into the eyes of three young adults with the condition and noted significant improvement in both day and night vision. With further study, this therapy could one day be used to treat those with macular degeneration. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.